The outer bands of Hurricane Florence will start to impact the North Carolina coast this morning. Here's what the storm looks like from space. Sustained winds are peaking at 110 miles an hour, but the most dangerous threat comes from storm surge. That will hit the Carolinas tonight and tomorrow. Chief weathercaster Lonnie Quinn of our New York station WCBS-TV shows how the two threats work together. Lonnie, good morning. Well, good morning, everyone. Now, as Hurricane Florence gets closer and closer to land, I want to focus on two primary impacts, and that's going to be wind and storm surge. So this storm is going to batter the coast on Friday. The peak winds of 100 miles per hour or more extend only about 20 miles from the center of the storm. That's your eye wall. And outside of this, there's a band of hurricane force winds that extends 70 miles from the eye. Here's where you're going to find winds that are, well, 74 miles per hour or stronger. The rest of this entire storm is primarily tropical storm force winds. And those are winds that are over 39 miles per hour and they extend 220 to 245 miles from the center. Now keep in mind, you can always get a stronger gust at any point in time, but there's also another element of the storm and it's the temperature of that water below Florence. It is a bathtub. It is 85 degrees. That will help to maintain the strength as well. And it also matters what side of the storm you are on. The worst part of the storm is the front right quadrant. And that's because you get the highest winds, the most tornadoes, and the storm pushes that water onto the shore. On the left-hand side of the storm, the water is actually pushed away from the coast. And most people, unfortunately, die from storm surge than any other part of a hurricane. And in this storm, that water could rise 15 feet. That's basically up to the second floor of a home. And that's why now is the time that those folks have got to evacuate if you're in the North Carolina, South Carolina Tidewater area. Look at this, the Tidewater area could see that 10 to 15 foot surge from Plymouth all the way to Moorhead City. Nora? All right, Lonnie, thank you.